Hi guys and welcome to Disney Springs. It's a windy day. We have some storm clouds blowing in for a lunchtime storm. You can maybe see characters in flight blowing behind me. But we are here at Disney Springs to eat at a place I've never eaten at and it's the last weekend to eat here. It's Bongo's owned by Emilio and Gloria Estefan. They are closing Bongo's down. It's being replaced for, with uh, a restaurant named Beatrix. Beatrix is gonna be a health conscious restaurant featuring vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free options. So that will be coming to Disney Springs in the future. Bongo's has a Cuban inspired menu. I'm really dying to try their pork there. And I hope I don't like it too much because I'm not gonna be able to have it again. <laughs> so. So let's go give bongos a try and see how we like it. Right through the palm trees here, this is bongos. I always remember this this guy playing the uh, bongos, as it were. Also interested to see how they're going to change this building. There's a pineapple on the back side of this building, and I'm curious to see if they're gonna keep that or not. You can see that the columns are actually like supposed to be palm trees, and then up above, hopefully you can see the kind of palm fronds right there at the top. So I was showing you this earlier because this you know, logo, this guy, is what I always associate bongos with. And this is actually the walk-up area. So you can just grab and go and get some quick stuff on their express menu. We will be sitting down and eating, and that is just to my right, is the main entrance with the menu right here. Gonna focus too much on the menu here because again this bongos is closing tomorrow is sunday the 18th which will be bongos last day but i think we're gonna try these breaded stuffed potatoes which sound delicious they do have a brunch menu today today's saturday so i think bryce is gonna get a cuban sandwich and like i said i am probably gonna get that pork meal i did kind of want to show you where we got seated we're kind of that is like the main dining room area and there's another bar right here and you can see there's quotes on the wall which I kind of want to uh, translate these on my phone so I can know what they're saying but look at these secluded booths all throughout here they go all around the room and they each have a little uh, poster inside these look like maybe magazine covers or something um, and then the tables are very colorful themselves vision for what I wanted these breaded stuffed potatoes to look like and this was the vision these look so good they're filled with mashed potatoes and some beef I believe I feel like if I had a deep fryer at home this is the kind of stuff I would do oh, fantastic. all right so here we go I'm gonna cut into this this is definitely a fork and knife food there's potato in there it looks like maybe an olive green olives and beef in there Let's get a bite of everything. The green olive is really dominating the flavor here. 
of course, the texture of the mashed potatoes, and it's not as crispy as I would was hoping it would be. But a good start to this meal, I would say you should like olives if you get this. I taste a lot of olive in here. So I looked it up, and this is actually picked. I don't know if it's picadillo or picadillo. This is what's inside these potato bites. It's actually ground beef and olives. And I take it back. You don't need a love of olives to have this. I just had a bite with a big olive in it. As I'm eating, the beef complements the potato more and more. Um, my only complaint is I was just hoping the mashed potatoes would be a little creamier, a little, little more buttery. But other than that, very filling, savory appetizer. Thrice got the Cuban sandwich with the shredded pork. And those fries look really, really good. It looks like they have something on them or Breading. something. Breading, yeah. Breading. And then here's mine. This is the pork with mojo on it. And this is the, I think it was called Moro rice and plantains. Oh my God, I'm gonna devour definitely the plantains and probably everything on this plate. It took me a couple of bites, but this pork has such a depth of flavor. And especially with the mojo. I remember the Cuban sandwich at SeaWorld was served with this and I was like, why is this here? It's here because of this reason, because it's delicious with this pork. I'm already sad, I was just closing it. And I haven't even tried these plantains yet, which I already know I'm gonna love. So, I should have come here sooner. This pork, it's almost like each bite is different. And as you get down to the bottom of this pan, there is juice and the juice just makes it so good. And then of course I did try the plantains and they're del as delicious as I expected them to be. I'm not too crazy about this rice, so I'm not gonna fill up on it because there's a lot of food here. So I'm gonna focus on the plantains and the pork. They are running some serious deals in the gift shop here. Some of the things seem to be half off, like these salt shakers. I showed you those discounted salt shakers. Look at this awesome bumper sticker I found. It not only says bongos, but it also says Downtown Disney. I just had to buy it. It was only 25 cents. I think that's the cheapest thing I've ever bought on Disney property. I have not walked to the back side of Bongo's very often, but there's also a girl playing maracas on the back. Here's the iconic pineapple that I always knew where Bongo's was because of this pineapple. And since Beatrix, the restaurant that is replacing Bongo's, is a health conscious restaurant. I'm wondering if they're gonna keep this pineapple. I am pretty happy though that we did get to eat in there. That is where our booth was. That is it for our first and last trip to Bongo's. Never gonna get to eat there again. And I gotta say, I probably wouldn't have rushed back to go there just simply given all the wonderful dining options here at Disney Springs. There are so many other places I want to try. Nothing to do with the food. The food was excellent. The service was wonderful. Great atmosphere. It's just, I would probably try somewhere else next time we're at Disney Springs. So let me know in the comments down below if you've been to Bongo's, how you liked it, what you got, and if you're also excited for Beatrix, the new restaurant taking Bongo's place. Oh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to Hit that like button if you enjoyed eating lunch with us here at Bongo's. If you want to come on more theme park adventures with us, hit that subscribe button as well. That is all for today, but make sure to follow us for more around Florida.